to, to tell the story of braids, we have to start from the beginning. Every night, I thank the Lord for all of the blessings he has bestowed upon me and my family. And I know from my heart that he had a hand in bringing Paige and Brad together. I love that they met in the dorm where they were neighbors. Beginning as friends, they eventually realized that their relationship had deepened into love. Freshman year at St. Ed's, Paige was my next door neighbor. We were able to build like a really strong friendship and foundation, and he was very special to me as a friend. So going into sophomore year, I became a single lady, and he asked me to go on our first date. I was nervous going into this, and I didn't know why. It was just weird. There was a label on it. She sits down, and I decide to sit right by her. I literally looked at him and I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> that is so weird. And he was like, oh, okay. Uh. <laughs> Paige and I, up until that point, have eaten lunch and dinner hundreds of times, right? We were both like, this is really awkward. What's going on? And he was like, I just have never felt this way about anyone, and I'm not really sure how to act. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> It was so obvious to me why Paige was a little hesitant to, you know, to take their friendship to the next level because a friend like that, you don't come around that every day. So the risk of losing someone like that is scary. I know a lot of people tell me how lucky I am to have found someone like Brad and it's so true. Like, I just, he brings out the best in me and he always supports me, and I love him so much for that because I know that no matter what I throw at him, he's going to catch it. I need some tissue. <laughs> yeah, In the name of God. I Brad take you page. I Brad take you page. To be my wife. To be my wife. For better for worse. For better for worse. For richer for poorer. For richer for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. <laughs> I didn't realize that was hard. <laughs> In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. You ride, leave me alone. I won't go. Into the dark like an animal. No, no, I won't go. No one was surprised when, after six years of being everyone's favorite couple, Brad popped the question on a romantic island in Costa Rica. When I saw the news, I excitedly called Paige and 
I asked her, I was like, oh my God, are you freaking out? Are you super surprised? Are, are you on cloud nine? What are you feeling? And her exact response was, it's like I always knew I was gonna marry Brad and spend the rest of my life with him. The only question was when. And so I don't really feel like anything's changed other than that it's official. As I look out and I see these beautiful smiles and these happy eyes, I realize that Laura and I are just two of the many that are happy here tonight. We're here for Brad and Paige. I'm so blessed and so thankful for every single one of you that are in this room. You guys are literally like our, our aunt pile. So leave your houses, leave your homes, leave your houses, and let it go. All of you make this giant ant pile that Brad and I are able to be like the king and queen ant. <laughs> so thank you so much. You guys remember like the ant farm? That's like us. So cheers to the ant farm. As I look at Paige, I can't help but reflect on all the years I was lucky enough to watch her grow, and she will always be my little angel. Giving her to Brad was so easy because I know she's in good hands. Congratulations, Paige and Brad. Let's brage. I love you guys. I'm so happy for you guys. And I just can't wait to watch you guys just take on the world together. To a beautiful couple and the future they'll build together. To Brad and Paige.